Hello, in this video I will show you how to set up telemetry function for a V3 ECU. First of all, we connect a wire. The power cable connect to 3SD port. And uh, we use a Futaba receiver. We connect S bus 2 port to the telemetry port on the ECU. And uh, the GSU display unit, we connect to GSU port. The engine cable connect to turbine. And the pump cable connect to pump. Then we plug the power for battery. The ECU start to work now. And we will see the voltage for receiver, 4.6 volt. And the engine still not connect because we need to plug the power cable to battery. OK, so now we are ready to set up from the radio. Now we open a new model. In model select, we open a new model. And in linkage menu, we check the servo reverse. The throttle channel must reserve reverse, must re reverse for throttle channel and the system type we select 18 channel so we will restart the remote control and now we will link this receiver when we press the link and we plug the battery for the receiver. Now link. <coughs> okay, now it's link. When you see the green light, a uh, green light, and the uh, link is temp is temperished. This means already link. And uh, the telemetry, we ACT DL we minima for 0 0.1 second okay the link is finished first step we need adjust RC first minima minima means throttle down train down you will see the number in green when you throttle up, the number will increase. And the throttle down, the number will reduce. That means this is the pulse from the receiver. OK, now minima means stop, train down, and the throttle down. Then we press OK and turn it. And the next step, we train up and the throttle down. This is for idle. And uh, the next, we throttle up to maxima. And uh, this is for maxima. We learn the maxima. That's all. Now I will show you how to set up the telemetry system. We Select the linkage menu. You will see a sensor. We press the sensor. Page two, page three. We can reload. Reload all sensor in the SPAS system. Okay, now already reload. 
now we the first one slot one we select the rpm sensor okay now rpm sensor for slot one and uh, slot two we select the temperature okay now select, select slot two is for temperature and uh, we will select the slot five for for this one sensor current sixteen seven eight so after that we select the telemetry now we can see the battery now is a five point two volt five point one okay, very close and uh, the RPM sensor, we m need to fine tune. We fine tune it to one the rate, the gear rate, to one point two. Okay, one point two. Now the next page is for current voltage and the GPS. So, how to display the telemetry information in the screen? We press this button and set up the display menu. For example, uh, at the top, this is show receiver battery. Okay, so and the next we can set up the RPM. Okay, so it's a display RPM now here. And uh, at the second, we can display the temperature. Okay, here. And uh, the final, we can display the the current or the power battery voltage or capacity <coughs> what means of capacity this capacity is the power battery how many capacity you use you can create the capacity in other menu for example now create the part battery you used I clean it now diesel that means the capacity now is diesel okay so we can make a test when I throttle up the RPM now is free and this is capacity or you want to change it to the current now is the current for power battery or the voltage for power battery